In this video, I'd like to talk about how to recognize functions from their graphs. Or essentially, we just need to determine, is this graph actually a function? So to answer that question, let's first look at the definition of a function. So if we have a function, and let's say that function is f of x, then for every x value, there is only one distinct y value. So if you plug an x value into a function, it can't give you two different y values as the result. There's only ever one y value that actually satisfies the function. So for an example, if we have f of x is x squared, and we graph this function, the parabola, this is a function because any x value I pick, like two, there is only one y value for that. If I plug it in, I get four. Some point, let's say right there. And if I plug in one, there's only one y value for that. And that would be one. An example of something that's not a function would look essentially like this. Like if we rotated the parabola 90 degrees, this is no longer a function. And I can't write it like this because every x value, like let's say three, now has two distinct y values. And in fact, we would say that it fails the vertical line test. So there's a test you can always do with graphs to see if they are actually a function. And basically, you need to be able to draw a vertical line at any given point on the function and have it only intersect the curve at one point. So notice anywhere I draw vertical lines, they're only crossing the graph once. And so this is a function. There's nowhere that I can draw a vertical line where it will cross twice. However, this is not a function because I can draw many vertical lines where it crosses at multiple points. And essentially, this is not a function because for each x value, there are multiple y values. So that is not a function. Now, it can work the other way. For instance, both f of 2 and f of minus 2 give you a y value of 4 in this case. That's okay. That is still a function. In fact, we do have something called the horizontal line test, but that is generally involved with inverse functions. So it's a slightly different topic, but it actually does come into play in a different aspect. So the vertical line test is our main tool to determine if these graphs are actually functions. So looking at this graph, this looks like some kind of trig function because we're getting the oscillation up and down. And anywhere I draw a vertical line, and honestly, they should be a little bit straighter, but you get the general idea. But anywhere I draw it, there's nowhere that it's going to intersect in two points. So we could say this passes the vertical line test. And let me write that out so you can see it. Passes the vertical line test. So that is our main tool. We're going to use that for the other problems. So let's move on. And is this a function? Well, let's use our vertical line test. And I'll just start drawing lines. And you can see right away it already fails because it's picking up multiple y values for the same x value. Like when x is 5, it looks like a y value of 3.5, but also, actually probably more like there, minus 3.5. And, and likewise, when x is around minus 4 something, you can see two different values. But you're going to get that all over the curve because you can draw lots of vertical lines that fail this test. So the answer is no, but it's because it fails the vertical line test. So let's keep going. This one's a little strange because it's just a line, but this is a function because anywhere we draw a vertical line, it's only ever going to cross in one point. This function doesn't even go up and down at all, so it's not possible for it to have two y values for the same x value. And again, just a reminder, based on the definition of a function, for each x value, there can only be one y value. And in this case, that is true. So this is a function. Now, this one's a little bit strange because we just have plotted points rather than a curve. But it works the same way. For every x value, there can only be one y value. And if there are multiple, then it fails the vertical line test. And look at 3. That gives y values of minus 3 and minus 6. So because of 3, it is not a function. Because for this x value, there are two distinct y values that you get from it. 